Hi, this is Sean and thanks for joining me today. In this short tutorial, we're going to talk about a couple of tools that you can use for ELL or ESL students. If you have a student that does not speak English and they're learning the language and they're still having a difficult time getting around your worksheets or any other lessons that you have in class, there's a nice tool inside Google Docs that you can use uh, to help your students out. Right here I have a demo assignment that I've set up in a Google Doc and what I want to do is I have a student that's in my class that speaks Russian and they're still learning the English language so for this student all I have to do is go up to the tools menu and click translate document and what it does is it creates a new copy of this assignment but it will be translated to whichever language I choose from this menu here if I click on the menu I can scroll down and I can find Russian and then click translate and it creates a new copy of this document translated in their home language so this makes it a little bit easier for the student now keep in mind not always will you get a perfectly translated document but it from what I've heard from many of our other students that that have used this feature the language is close enough to their home language that that it has been very beneficial the other option that you have is if you have work that has been turned into you by a student and it is in a foreign language then you can also choose or opt to have that translated in a different way let me show you how to do that let's say for instance that this assignment is one that I received from a Russian student and I, I can't read the Russian language so I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to go over to Google Translate. That's at translate.google.com and I choose the language from this list here that I need to translate from and I choose the language that I want to translate to over on the right and then I'll paste in their text and it translates it for you so that you know what they're saying to you. So and either way you go you can use the translate feature that's inside Google Docs or you can use Google Translate to help with your needs. Thanks for joining me.